when it comes to starting a conversation with somebody, I feel like personally, it's something that you really shouldn't overthink. You just have to go to it with no expectations. You have to go into it not trying to think about the outcome and just let things flow. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is something that I've learned as of recently. You know, I don't know if it's because of semen retention. I don't know if it's because of, I, I don't know. But I feel like as of recently, I'm more, I'm more, what am I, what's the word? Uh, I don't think twice. I don't think twice when it comes to having a conversation. I don't really doubt myself. I don't really get that that hunch before you go up. You know, that, that feeling you get before you go up to somebody. I don't really feel that. And I feel like when you practice semen retention, it kind of, I don't want to say it, it totally eliminates social anxiety, but it in a way it kind of, it makes it so you kind of forget like you even have it. You know, if for those people that have it or for those people that experienced it, like when you practice semen retention, it almost kind of seems like it it's non-existent. You, you don't really pay it any mind. It's not it's not like the forefront. It's not in the forefront of your mind. You're not thinking about it. And I don't know, I'm just speaking from my experience. I can't really speak for everybody else, but that's the best way to approach a conversation. It's just to go into it with no expectations. Don't try to overthink anything. Don't try to when you try to expect when you try to um expect an outcome that's when you that's when you have like what do you call it unnatural um rigid conversations that don't really flow well conversations that don't really go anywhere conversations that are just meaningless but when you just go into it not expecting anything and it just it just flows it just flows naturally because it's genuine, it's from the heart, and you're not thinking. And when you're, I notice like when you're not thinking, it just flows, it, it just kind of comes out of you because you're kind of just in harmony with the conversation. You're, you're, you're flowing with the conversation, so it just comes out of you. It's almost like watching a movie scene, except you're in the movie scene but you're not conscious of what you're saying. It, it's just coming out of you subconsciously. That's how it is. And that's the best advice that I could give as far as just starting a conversation with somebody new, somebody at work, you know, a parent, um, a sibling, aunts, uncles, you know, anybody you want to connect on a deeper level, anybody you want to pick apart their mind and just see if you can really relate with this person anything you know so when it comes to having a conversation just in the back of your mind understand that if you expect an outcome then <laughs> you're not gonna get the outcome you want because you're not supposed to expect an outcome it's those it's kind of that thing where you just kind of go into it and you let it kind of unfold in front of you. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of hard to explain, but... And, and, and you also have to pick up on body language and eye contact and just uh, vocal tones. And there's a lot of things you have to point out in a conversation with somebody. And... There's another thing that I wanted to say. There's something else that I learned recently. Okay, this is the last thing. Be yourself. All right, when it comes to having these conversations with people, be yourself. I know a lot of people, this is another thing, because I'm guilty of this. I'm still learning. I'm still young, so I'm still trying to be comfortable when I'm having these conversations. But 
in the past that I always be like, what do I say? What I, what what side of my what side should I show? Um, should I crack a joke? Uh, you know, I always have these thoughts of like, oh, will they think I'm weird? But nowadays, I'm I'm more in the mindset of, all right, if they don't like me, then that benefits me. You know, because that's one less person that I have to deal with. That's one less, you know, I would rather have somebody straight up tell me that they don't like me. I would rather have somebody straight up give me those signs that they don't like me instead of somebody pretending to like me. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather, I'd rather have somebody just be straight up honest with me instead of some, instead of having somebody just leech off me and, and pretending that they like me and pretending that they are on my frequency, you know? So that's how you gotta, you kind of just have to look at the out, uh, I'm sorry. You gotta you gotta look at the positives of life. You gotta look at just the positives of situations and realize that it's not always about impressing people, but just finding the people that match your frequency. Find finding the people that best mirror you, and and, it, and if those if it's not gonna be everybody, and if you happen to have a conversation with somebody and, and they don't happen to give you the same energy, then so be it you know that tell them to get with the program or hit the road like you know so that's just that's just how it is and uh another thing that i've learned is sarcasm sarcasm i've always <laughs> i've always struggled in the past with like i've always felt like i just wasn't funny but i, I am funny but i'm funny in my own way and it wasn't until recently when I realized like, yo, another way that you can incorporate humor inside of your conversations is sarcasm. I find that at least in my area, at least in this state, at least in this demographic of people that I'm around it, <laughs> surrounded by, they really love sarcasm. <laughs> they really love sarcasm. Like people here love sarcasm. So if you can master the art of sarcasm and oh my god if you can just master it like if you can master sarcasm with a straight face you're gonna have people dying <laughs> like you're gonna have people falling in love with you but there has to be a balance you know balance that humor with seriousness and that's something that i'm learning to do recently i've just had this like I don't even know, like, I really feel like it's semen, semen retention. Semen retention just kind of installs like a, like a, like a, like a, like an undertone of confidence within you that you don't really, that you don't really notice is there, but other people see it inside you. And that's one thing that I've been adding is just humor humor inside of my conversations and people like laughing you know <laughs> i can't speak for everybody but the average human wants to laugh like everybody wants to laugh in a conversation it's stimulating it's stimulating and and and, and you like you like that dopamine rush when you're when you're laughing and you you want that that's what you seek for every single time you have that conversation with that person so that's what people want you know, but definitely incorporate humor inside of your conversations. Learn or not incorporate. I mean, yeah, you can incorporate humor. What I'm trying to say more specifically, incorporate sarcasm, sarcasm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just the people around me, people in this area, but people really like sarcasm around here. And I noticed like I, I used to think like, damn, do I have to crack like do I have to crack jokes? Do I have to like be a stand-up comedian? Do I have to like say pick like like what what do I have to say to make people laugh? But then I realized it's just sarcasm. Just saying things that sarcasm. Like I don't know how to explain sarcasm, but sarcasm works. If you use sarcasm, not I, seven times out of ten, people are gonna laugh. So yeah. Those are going to be my conversation tips for today. I just wanted to get a video out there.
Every time I feel like my spirit needs to express a message, every time I feel like I need to let something out, I'm going to come on here. I'm going to post a video. But yeah, that's it for today. Um, peace, love, positivity. I love y'all. Take care of yourself. Peace.